have to learn to lock their cars, especially if they're going to leave guns in it. That's just what it comes down to. But first tonight, it's a warning that you've heard many times in Sioux Falls, but now we are hearing it from departments all across the state. Good evening. Lock your doors. And that's the growing message from law enforcement all across Kelo Land. In Sioux Falls, the issue is often with stolen guns, but tonight we're learning about a rash of stolen vehicles in Pennington County. In 2017, nearly 1,200 cars were stolen across the state, which valued more than $7 million. Tonight, Kelo Land's Al Van Zee shows you the current problem police are facing in Rapid Valley. The incidents happened in the northern neighborhoods of Rapid Valley. Two trucks and two dirt bikes were stolen, and several chainsaws and other items were taken from a storage shed in the same area. The thefts and burglaries occurred in the hours of darkness on Tuesday night and into Wednesday morning. Some residents in the neighborhood suspect it may be part of an organized operation that may hit the area again if the perpetrators aren't caught. Investigators haven't committed to that idea just yet, but they say it may be a possibility. It's always a suspicion when you get things like that occur in the same place at the same time. Uh, obviously, we wouldn't like to rule anything out, but, but it's obviously a suspicion, yes. Investigators are warning everyone, especially in light of these recent incidents, to lock their doors on their homes, outbuildings, and cars. Well, one of the common themes and one of the issues, the ongoing issues, is people leaving vehicles unlocked, uh, people leaving cars, uh, keys in their cars, uh, people maybe starting their car in cold weather uh, and then going back in the house. It's also a good idea to never leave valuable items like jewelry and electronics in a car where they can be seen by anyone passing by. One resident said he's always locked his home and car doors, but he says the increased meth problem may be connected. No, I'm not worried about it with the increased drug problem. I, you know, it just seems to be the nature of where our society's going. Anyone with information about the thefts is asked to contact the Pennington County Sheriff's Office. Al Van Zekeloland News. Meth arrests are still running well ahead of normal in Pennington County. So far, there have been 130 more drug arrests so far this year than at this time last year.